As a gamer, you want the best. And I have to tell you though, I am tempted in calling the Samsung CH90 one of the best gaming monitors out there. Yes, it's got some faults, but I have to say though, I really like what I've seen with this thing. Now, resolution wise, it's 3840 by 1080, makes no sense. Basically two 25 inch displays are brought together, but it looks so good. It really does. Um, looking at, of course, got to get custom wallpapers and I'll link all of them for you. Uh, let's looking at content or no, looking at just what you can get, especially while gaming is really good. It's 144 Hertz refresh rate, one millisecond response time on this bad boy. Uh, this also supports free sync too. Um, if you have a, um, a AMD graphics card, you can, you know, definitely take the full advantage of that there. But this thing is a really really nice gaming monitor and I just have to say I'm impressed with what I've seen but also again looking at wallpapers on this bad boy is absolutely fantastic I know I'm yapping about wallpapers yeah instead of just the monitor itself but it provides a really large landscape at 49 inches you can see how Link looks and you know, this landscape really just traverses all around him so this thing is well built um, it's got a really nice sturdy stand it's probably a stand for like a 40 inch tv Let, let's be honest here but you also have a mean curve to this this thing has a, a 1800 r in terms of the curvature uh, radius and uh for a gaming monitor or for a monitor like this it makes a lot of sense uh you get to see the whole screen you can look left and right i don't feel like you're looking at this overly overwhelming canvas if you will um now in terms of course you know, of square space use uh if you need a really large desk for this now it comes with two hdmi ports you've also got a display port there you've got a hook at the back that you can hang your headphones if you choose to it's got lightning back there but i also have my own light lighting at home now in terms of using that real estate now you can go ahead and use the software in there to split it or of course just use the normal Windows split but you can see clearly how much space I have now that is not a second screen that's just my my wallpaper on the side but you can see how I can easily go ahead and split that up into different sections if I want to run two different pieces of content and have almost two 25 inch uh, displays all combined in one in one area you know I don't have that gap or split in between but one of the things I've noticed is that I do enjoy watching multiple videos at the same time now with this uh, it's quite capable of doing that and doing it quite well now one of the things Samsung has done well is also the software system very easy to navigate and use shows you everything so it shows me my black equalizer right there response time my refresh rate if what I have on and off I can go in and change those things quite simply now I do wish it had remote control again I think once you get to monitors of a larger size like this having a remote just makes more sense but it's really easy they've got some custom settings there for FPS RTS um, um, SR RGB as well as also cinema you can customize it making it easy to have the perfect of course viewing experience and also uh, for your gaming needs now talking about gaming uh, this of course is a brand new Call of Duty most games uh, have the ability to of course go ahead and give you the option to run at this resolution of uh, 3840 by 1080 games look really good now i thought it wouldn't i felt it would, i initially thought it would be stretched out 1080 but it actually works very well and it looks really really good now if you want to run this uh, my system i'm running here is an amd uh ryzen 7 1700 i am also running this with a gtx um, uh, Titan X. Now, I would say a, a GTX 1080, 1080 Ti will do this well. Any any graphics card that supports uh, three monitors will handle this well. But just to warn you, warn you here, a 1080 is probably where you want to start from. That's just the best thing. Now, this is here Battlefront 2, uh, and the game looks really good here. I mean, it it plays well. Again, this monitor also supports HDR. Now, I will tell you this, Windows has, Windows 10 has HDR support. While you're gaming, you want to turn it off Windows 10 and use the inbuilt HDR settings 
it just looks better it doesn't look wonky but it makes the game everything looks really nice and it just it looks very very good especially just playing games like this that are fast paced on a wide monitor you want the best refresh rate or me playing doom which really is a fast paced game and yeah uh, yeah, I died. You probably see that a lot, quite quite a bit with this though. I will say though, what I've experienced using this monitor is uh, enjoying a lot of real estate, uh, enjoying the space. So you know, as as you guys know, I edit a lot of videos. So having that real estate to go through my timeline and edit video also adds to it and it gives me a lot. But um, it also gives me the ability to to do more with the space I have. And I think that's really poignant. But going back to gaming, I think this is the kind of monitor that gamers will like on a large scale. Now it's priced right now at uh, 1,320. The holiday period went down to 999. Hopefully it drops down back in price. Uh, it's not perfect. It definitely isn't perfect. Uh, one of the main things is again, still the resolution. I would have loved to see this at a 2K resolution. I would love to see this at a resolution that was a higher. Uh, there are some points where you can notice that and some points you can't. As you're looking at the wallpapers here, you really can't notice it. It looks really sharp. It looks vibrant. It looks rich. It looks fresh. Uh, but I do want to see improvements there and also the, you know, just the price point. But uh, I will say though, I have really enjoyed this. Um, there's nothing, it's not much, much bad I can say about this monitor than, uh, than the fact that um you know it should just please drop down in price and also uh bump up the resolution for gamers because this thing looks really really good now some of you are going to be asking me where can i get these wallpapers um i will be uploading them on my pinterest page uh for you guys so you can get of course uh these ultra wide wallpapers resolution 3840 uh, by 1080p uh, some really good stuff out there on the web took me a while to find a lot of these so definitely enjoy them now if you guys have any questions or any comments about this monitor and what you're getting from it um, let me know I'll try and answer them for you otherwise guys don't forget to like and share this video favor this video subscribe to the channel I'm heading to CES I'm actually probably flying at the time you're watching this video so check out all our content at CES we're gonna have a lot of stuff for you guys to watch and view um, and uh, it's gonna be a week there at CES so expect a lot of content out there but uh, otherwise guys enjoy this video if you want to pick up this monitor we have an amazon link for you guys down below and i'm telling you you definitely will enjoy it so this is thunder isane thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment